Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We hope you've been having a good week. Uh, in this series, we've been looking at God's Word and how God's Word is an antidote for everything that can be damaging to the life of a believer. Right? An antidote is a medicine that, uh, that is taken to counteract a poison. So God's Word is like that. It is health to all our flesh. It is life to those who find them and health to all the flesh. So um, in this series, we've been looking at that. Uh, the antidote that God's word is, um, uh, is for something that, uh, that is so subtle and it can be damaging for the life of a believer. Uh, God's word is the antidote for pride. Okay? Um, this is what happens when a person has pride in their lives. James 4 verses 6 and 7 says, But he gives more grace, therefore he says, God resists the proud. Now that's a very startling uh, statement and a, and a very startling thing to experience. You know, we've experienced the, the favor of God, we've experienced the love of God, the grace of God. How will it be to experience the resistance or the pushback from God? Now here it says that God resists the proud. But he gives grace to the humble. And uh, verse 7 says, Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Um, the verse 10 of the same chapter, James chapter 4 and verse 10 says, Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord. Another scripture that, that actually helps us is uh, Philippians 2 verses 3 and 4. It says, Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit or pride, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than themselves, than himself. Verse 4, Let each of you look out not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of others. So as we put together these thoughts and these instructions, what do we get? Firstly, we need to submit to God. You know, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. And a sign of humility is to submit to God. So what does it mean to submit to God? It means to submit to the authority of His Word, first and foremost. It means to obey the Word of God. It means to bring ourselves, bring our lives under the authority or the leadership of His Word. Um, it also means to receive His grace, to come to a place of humility to receive the grace of God. And when we receive the grace of God, uh, we are given the authority to resist the enemy, resist the instructions of the enemy. The other thing that we see is that when we humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God, when we agree with God, when we see things from God's perspective, and when we say what God says, about us, about others, we see that we will be lifted up. God exalts us. In Philippians 2, we saw this. Let each esteem others better than himself. The other thing that we see here, the key for walking in humility is to be other focused, which means that we esteem others better than ourselves. We look out for the interests of others in addition to our own interests. So we see that this is an antidote, antidote for pride, which is uh, laid out very clearly in God's word. We will experience the exaltation from the Lord. We will, ex we will, we will see pride exit, and we will see the entry of us being humble, and we will experience the quality of humility. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this instruction in your word. We thank you, Lord, that even as we humble ourselves under your mighty hand, you will lift us up. We thank you that even as we turn our focus from ourselves onto others, Lord, that um, we will experience, Lord, this quality of humility and we will see the exit of pride. Father, we thank you. We pray that you will empower us to experience this daily in our lives. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.